Hello and welcome back to a new IELTS Express grammar lesson. Uh, last time we talked about the very notorious pair bad versus badly, where here's the opposite, good versus well. And again, this lesson comes under the advanced level because a lot of people make mistakes with the usage of good and well. Even I make mistakes. Yes, it happens to even the best of us. So grab your notepad and your pen and let's get started. Of course, we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up. He doesn't feel very good. Is the sentence right or wrong? And if it's right, why? And if it's wrong, why? And we're going to figure this out at the end of the uh, lesson. All right. Good versus well. The word good is an adjective. We know that. The word well is an adverb and it answers the question how. Sometimes well also functions as an adjective, but if it refers to health. For example, you did a good job. It describes the way the job was done. You did the job well the way you did the job. But again, if I don't feel well, it describes me because it's about my uh, well-being, my health. All right, we've got a few rules over here. Yeah, so we're, <clears throat> uh, we're going to take them bit by bit. Rule number one, whenever we use these words with the four senses, look, smell, taste, feel, we have to think whether these words are being used, again, like in the previous lesson, actively, to decide whether to follow them with good or well. And again, here is always used actively. And the first one, you smell good today. Yeah, because good describes you and not how you sniff with your nose. The second one, you smell well for someone with a cold like me. So you are smelling, you're sniffing actively with your nose here to use the adverb. Or she looks good for a 75 year old grandmother. Yeah, she's not looking actively with her eyes. So we need to use the adjective over here. Okay, the next rule, rule number two, uh, when we refer to health, always use well. I don't feel well today or you don't look well because it refers to the way you look in um, from a healthy point of view. Rule number three, when describing someone's emotional state, you use good. He doesn't feel good about having cheated. Again, it describes the way you feel, emotions. So we use the adjective. Okay, so having said that, how should you answer the question? How are you? Now, if you think someone is asking about your physical well-being, you should answer, I feel well, or I don't feel well. But if someone is asking you about your emotional state, you should say, I feel good, or I don't feel good. And maybe next time I should have a grammar lesson on the differences between good, well, or fine. Yeah, whenever friends ask you, how are you, good, well, or fine? And we're going to talk about this. Well, in the meantime, we have reached the end of the lesson. I told you power up lesson, express lesson. And I've got a little bit of a quiz for you. Two minutes, five sentences. I would like you to look at them very carefully. If you have taken notes while um, during the lesson, then you should know exactly what you should be doing. Okay. Two minutes. Here we go.
Okay, time is up and the answers are He jogged very well. How did she jog well? Had a good time yesterday. Describes the the way you feel. Yeah. With a high fever, it is unlikely he will feel well. Again, it's about health, fever, and all sorts. Those glasses look good on you. Again, it shows the way you look. Describes your appearance. Either day works well for me to look at the apartment. Okay, it works well. Yeah, how it, how does it feel? So to say, just well. And that's it. That was your lesson for today. Thank you very much for having me. If you have liked it, don't forget to hit that like button. And you can also help me up by hitting that subscribe and sharing this uh, lesson with other people who need help. As I said, bad, badly, good and well are quite tricky, even with the most proficient students. That will be all from me. Thank you very much for watching. See you on my socials and on our next lesson. Bye-bye.